Hi everybody and welcome back to Starseed Dragon. Um, we are going into our next suit from the Dragon Tarot. This is the back side of the box and I will be reading the descriptions from the book that sold separately. It does come with a small booklet with basic meanings but I will be reading from the actual book that it sold separately in case you wanted to uh, purchase that um, or if you wanted to purchase the uh, the deck I have an affiliate I have a, two affiliate links um, in the description box below um, that will take you directly to the items and um, you'll be able to purchase them there so let me get this set up all right so here's the first card in the suit of wands and it is the ace of wands let's see the book says the suit of wands or firebrands here we have the element of fire represented which indicates energy action and power Ace of Wands. In an old library or laboratory, we see an alchemist dragon using a special magic wand headed by a crystal piece through which a light is emanating. To one side, a firebrand bra brazier is burning, around which ivy is growing. On his wall is a diagram of the plow or great bear constellation. All around the room, we see diverse implements for use of magic and alchemy. The divinatory meaning, individual initiative, a new enterprise. So that's quite beautiful. All right, moving along. Our next card is the Two of Wands. A flying dragon flies in between two similar younger dragons. He is helping them to settle a quarrel. The definitory meaning, good advice is given and acted upon. It's quite beautiful. Okay. Next one is the Three of Wands. Our flying dragon is now flying out to even greater heights and begins to meet some of the fire spirits or elements, as they are sometimes called. The divinatory meeting, taking the lead, going to places, experientiality that uh, others are not yet ready to go. Okay, next one is the Four of Wands, and the book says, Our dragon now leads us through the desert, across the burning sands. At a certain place, he takes us past an obelisk, almost as if the journey we are making with him is a rite of passage. The divinatory meaning, working with others on a cooperative basis. Beautiful. Next one, the Five of Wands. The book says, our guide dragon has successfully guided us through the desert. We now see the outline of an ancient Moorish city in, on the horizon. A couple of salamanders appear and challenge our guide as to his authenticity. They are the guardians of the city. The divinatory meaning, there is competition, but don't back off. That's cool. 
Okay, Six of Wands. And the book says, Our guide dragon has found the great ruby, symbol of cosmic fire. He has thus achieved his own personal victory. The divinatory meaning, victory. Okay, very cool. I really like this suit. Very pretty dragons. So now we are on the Seven of Wands. And the book says, Around you are, excuse me, Around our guide dragon stands a range of firebrands, which creates a barrier for him to overcome. The divinatory meaning, cut down your problems one by one. Okay, next card is the Eight of Wands. Our guide dragon has successfully overcome the barriers which life has thrown on him and now flies across the sky, making up for lost time. In the distance, we see a tower with the air of great anticipation, almost as if it's expecting him. The divinatory meaning, life speeding up, things beginning to happen quickly. That's pretty neat. Okay, moving along, here we go. The Nine of Wands. Our guide has landed inside the tower and now begins to walk up the great staircase, which runs on and on into the distance. He reaches out his wings in order to maintain balance as he goes along. The definitory meaning Allow yourself to receive support from others. Don't be blocked off. Okay. Next one is Ten of Wands. Our guide flies high into the sky again, but again we find him surrounded by firebrands as if they are hemming him in. Below him is a different kind of tower, an Aztec pyramid, thus signifying a shift in his level of understanding. He clasps his hands to his head as if to say, leave me alone. Divinatory meaning, don't get into carrying anyone else's burdens. Oh, the tens. And here we are with the Page of Wands. Our guide continues his quest along one of the dragon or ley lines until he can, comes to the Egyptian pyramids. A ley line is a line of geocosmic energy running through the earth, just as a nerve meridian runs through a human body. At this point, in his journey, a book of secrets avails itself to him, along with a pen to write his own experiences, thus adding to the wonder of the experience. The divinatory meaning, learning and or traveling. Next card. The Knight of Wands. Our guide dragon now stands armed with a lance and a shield. As the guardian of the secrets he has uncovered in the journey through his realm. In the background we see a horizon of smoldering volcanoes. Divinatory meaning dynamic male energy. Next card, the Queen of Wands. A great female dragon rears herself up above the Egyptian pyramids. Around her neck, she wears the sign of the Ankh, symbol of eternal life. Or I guess it could be Ankh, A-N-K-H. 
the divinatory meaning, a woman of great resolve. It's quite beautiful. And our final card in this suit is the King of Wands. A regal male dragon flies upwards from the Moorish settlements we glimpsed earlier. Now we can see more clearly the beautiful domed towers and minarets of this ancient city. Divinatory meaning, a man of leadership. All right, so that's the suit of wands in the Dragon Tarot. And that will conclude our review today. Um, our next suit in the book will be the suit of cups. So I will see you on the next video to continue reviewing these cards. Um, talk to you later.